Hello my Pisces, I'm Chris, welcome to your August horoscope. Now I've been gone for a while, I have a little video coming out to talk about where I've been because I think there's some, some important things that maybe we can connect with each other about, about that, but uh, for a minute, for right now, we're here, we're out here, we're doing this. Uh, if you're new here, welcome to the house. Uh, if you're returning, thanks for sticking with me. Uh, in the description below, you can find a link to my website where you can donate to the channel, uh, book private readings, only a couple in August will be available, and much, much more. So Pisces, the last few months have been like out of control with eclipse season, with the retrogrades, and now in August, it's like the dust is settling. But what that does, and what I was kind of getting some downloads as I was uh, coming into this reading, uh, what that does is is we have to sort of recalibrate to a new way of being, a new identity, a new sense of ourselves. And I think for you Pisces, it's important to note that, I'm reading my notes here, that the past is sort of fading away. And to me, I feel like I have to say that because there's a sense of anxiety. There's a sense of like Pisces being in between states and, and sort of being nervous about it. The analogy I'll make is like we're in Leo season, very strong solar energy. And, and it's like you're the water, right? And, and you're changing states with the intensity of the sunlight. It's like you guys are changing into a different state. And you have to like sort of accept things the way they are, Pisces. You have to sort of like accept things as they are. And there's a sense here to stop forcing things. Whatever that means to you, there's a sense here like you need to stop forcing something to be a certain way whether it's something that you want to keep around whether it's something you want to let go of there's a sense of like pushing it too much in our central situation for the month pisces we have the page of wands kind of being like a child through the world in the world this is like a, a pisces is a sign that like sheds your identity you sort of molt right you guys are the sign in the zodiac that represents death you're the end but you're also the renewal right and Pisces, there's opportunity here this month to be renewed. A renewal of passion, a renewal of focus, I feel like here. A renewal of focus on your passions. Now Pisces, with this card, there's a lot of tendency to stumble up. This card has come up a lot this month. I would say in almost half the readings this month, we got the, the Page of Wands. Because there's a lot of fire this month. This season is so intense. And Pisces, you're sort of being asked right now to sort of embrace the change with a sort of childlike wonder. To sort of just let things be the way they're going to be. You see the way this card, this, this image, he has a blindfold over him? When I was meditating, I got the idea that you guys are free to go in any direction you want. And this is, I'm going to read this real quick. You guys are free to go in any direction you want right now. And you need to own the direction you're going in. Because there's sort of a fear of losing what was by going somewhere new. And Pisces, the message here is that what you have waiting for you on the other side, what you have waiting for you in this new identity and this new sense of being, this new way of being, is gonna be so good that what the way things are now aren't even gonna matter to you anymore. The things you cherish right now that you're so afraid of losing are not going to even matter because there's so much greatness. The Page of Wands is just the beginning of the fulfillment of potential. Also, before we go on I and put my notes aside, I just want to note one thing. Uh, as I was meditating, um, I, when I came out of it, my hands were on my stomach like this. And I saw myself in the mirror and I was like, this looks like the way like a pregnant lady would hold her stomach. So for many of you guys, children might be on the mind. You might be getting pregnant or uh, you might be really thinking about your role as mother or father is if is this something you want is this something your partner wants is this something you guys are kind of like moving towards together <laughs> and in our in our ideals uh pisces we have the page of pentacles now in reverse so what a way to start out this reading huh <laughs> want to talk about changing identities want to talk about uh newness want to talk about trying something new pisces in our in our ideals um you know, we want to sort of release the... I think you guys want to release. Like with the Page of Pentacles, the Earth element is very is very still. It's sort of stagnant. It's very against, like, your nature. And I think there's some things in your life, Pisces, that, that 
are in your life that weren't always really meant to always be there. Like, as if they were something that was supposed to be there for a period of time. They were supposed to be like, uh, these, this wasn't meant to be a start. This wasn't meant to be something that was going to uh, be there forever. With the Page of Pentacles upright, typically that's how we think about it. This is just the beginning of a new journey for, for material fulfillment. Here it's like, you guys never even meant for the life path you're on to be the path you're on. It was supposed to be temporary. Whether that's your job, whether that's where you live, now the Page of Wands is asking you to take risks. The Page of Wands is asking you to, to recognize that you're a little stuck and you're stuck because you're keeping it that way. You're stuck because like you're uncomfortable with the change. Every sign this month is going through change. This August is like an in-between place between what we were and what we we're going to be. In the distant past, Pisces, we have the, uh, the Magician in reverse. So what this says to me also with this reversal starting out the reading is that you guys have been in your head a lot. You've been thinking too much. You've been contemplating too much. Like this, the magician in reverse is like overthinking it. Like your, your avenues, your channels to creating the life you're supposed to live are sort of blocked because you're thinking too much. You're second guessing yourself. You're doubting your resources. You're doubting your intuition. You're doubting your knowledge. You're doubting your wisdom. Now, the good thing is that this is in the past. Some of you might have even been getting a little manipulated, is what I feel here too. Manipulated by a person. Manipulated by a situation. Some of you might have been manipulating your own damn selves, right? Like contorting yourself to fit a mold that you knew was not right for you, that you knew was not meant to be the mold you're meant to fit. Now you're breaking free. P Pisces, the energy with the Page of Wands too can be a little like heated. So I don't know if you guys have been a little frustrated, a little angry, a little like uh, wanting to go, but maybe not quite sure how to do it. Maybe like just a little annoyed with yourself because you can't quite figure out what you want. And I think you know it, but you're like fighting with yourself. Here in the past as well, we have the Page of uh, uh, Blah, 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 the Ace of Swords. So having some clarity, I think you used to know. I think you used to be more comfortable, Pisces, with knowing what you wanted. And now it feels to me like there's something in your life that's come up that is making you doubt what was once clear. That is making you like try to change course in a way that again feels forced. Because you were feeling good and things were like kind of going well and it's not that things well it depends on the individual right this is a general reading it's not necessarily that things are going poorly it's just that they're not as satisfying right there's not this feeling as much as a victory of conquering of being on top of your shit of like owning the world So in our more recent past, uh, Pisces, we have karma. Karma. Well, that was a Freudian slip if there ever was one. Justice. So, I think what this is saying is that you've kind of fulfilled this stage of your life. I said karma, right? The justice is about uh, fairness, and I'm going to talk about that for a second. But, in, in a second rather, but... It's also about karma, it's about fate, it's about the path we're supposed to be on. It's about aligning with our truest self. Why is this not focusing? There you go. And so Pisces, I think that you've just sort of gotten everything you can. Look at the way, the, the synchronicity between these cards, you see the way she's holding that sword now? Went from a sword that's being held by like the universe to a sword that's being held in her hand. You guys got everything out of the, the part of your life that you've been. You guys accomplished the things that you want to accomplish. And that's why there's this fiery rambunctious. I, I wouldn't be surprised if some of y'all are like, fuck it. With some people with certain situations, like, like it feels almost like you're done just not feeling right. 
And you know why? If it doesn't feel right, Pisces, it's because you're meant to be doing more now. You're meant to be pivoting. You're meant to be changing the, your direction. You're meant to be course correcting right now. And why? And our turning point, we have the Empress. You guys want the love. You want the family. You want the situated, like the sense of everything is good. Life is abundant. I have family. I have love. I have wealth. So there's something, especially the, what's calling out to me in this card here, um, Pisces, is the element of this card that represents love. That represents family. There's a desire right now, Pisces, to be really connected to family. This, like, I wish it, uh, in a different deck, this, this Empress is laying around pregnant. In almost every other deck but this one, for some reason, the Empress is pregnant. A little psychic. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. So for some of you, literally, you're thinking about family and not just like the family that exists, but in the family that you're going to create, the family that you want to create. And now this is partly why the past way of being is no longer okay, because like you got everything out of it. Maybe you were just having fun. Maybe you were focusing on your career. Whatever it is for you guys, you were focusing on something else. And now, like, there's no way you can avoid this. And this is, like, what the universe right now is pushing you towards right now, Pisces. So however that, that whatever that means to you specifically, you're going to have to understand for yourself. Right? But for some of you, it might be, you know, calling your mom. For some of you, it might be becoming mothers. For some of you, it might be becoming parents in some way, right? There's a desire to be really strongly rooted in the world. Like, and I mean that, rooted. Like, there's almost a desire to be grounded in something. There's a desire to have, like, a sort of purpose in a new way. Going forward in the, in the future, Pisces, uh, the Two of Wands, I, I, my first in, initial stage is, like, uh, my initial thought was, like, you guys are just ready for moving forward. You guys are ready to let go of something that you've been, like, a way of life that's been for a while. The Two of Wands shows us taking control of our lives. It shows us looking into the future and getting really, really, really confident, really sure in our hearts, in our souls about what it is that we want. This month, uh, uh, Pisces, I keep always wanting to say Aries. This month, Pisces, um, we're, we're, we're getting in touch with what we want. And it's not intellectual. It's not intellectual, it's visceral. It's the fire in your belly, it's the thing that drives you. What most often drives Pisces? Love, connection, family. <laughs> See, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The, 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 especially I think this there's a lot having to do with your job and what you do for a living. With uh, all, all regards, your material world is Pentacles, right? So this could be where you live, this could be what you do for a living, but the thing that once gave you meaning and purpose like just isn't going to be working anymore. In reverse, this is saying like there's no more meaning there. There's no more meaning maybe in some kind, for, again, general reading, you guys have to figure it out for what it means for you, but whatever is long term, whatever was purposeful, whatever kept you grounded, whatever kept you rooted in place, no more, that doesn't work anymore. And you know, something people say about water signs, about the element of water in general, is that water is what colors life with meaning, right? Fire, we have creativity and willpower. Air, we have the intellect. Earth, we have like the material, the body, the earth. And water, what we get is, is the thing that makes life purposeful. The thing that makes life meaningful. Without water, like life is just dry. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Now going forward, Pisces. You see what I mean about forcing it? 
rounding out the month, at the end of the month, we have Judgment in Reverse. So still lots of reversals. There's actually a balance here, guys. So like half of the reading is in reverse. And then the other half, literally form four, is upright. So you guys are transitioning. Also, half major arcana. Our spiritual journey. You are getting a clearer sense of what your journey is. You're getting a clearer sense of what your path is. Now that might have only come through dissatisfaction in certain ways. But Pisces, I think you guys are going to continue to resist the call to your next phase of life. I think what this also says though is that you have to sort of do some internal work before you're ready to embrace it. You have to embrace the call to you on the inside to be something bigger, to be something different, to be something more before it's going to manifest in your external reality. So Pisces, shedding the skin, like what did I say? Like, judgment is the card of release. It's the card of changing. It's the card of rebirth. What did I start out this reading saying, guys? It's time to shed the old way of being. Molting. But there's resistance still. And why is there resistance? <laughs> Bottom of the deck, two of cups. This is why there's resistance. Because you're... you're on a soul level connected to something that is keeping you from moving forward. Two of Cups is often thought about as romance and if it's romance that could be it for you. But there's something like a soul bond. This could be with friends. This could be with where you live. Like, like Two of Cups is just that connection. That soul connection. And again we're talking about water, right? This is like the connection of the things that made you feel alive. That gave you purpose. So it's not easy to break. It's not easy to break. You've you've kind of made your identity part of it. That, okay, so let me read to you what I wrote also about Pisces are meant to shed their identity. Pisces are meant to shed their identity, but sentimentality is holding you back. Pisces is meant to shed their identity Sentimentality is holding you back. <laughs> I just sometimes like give myself a little pat. Like I like I've been doing this for a long time, and sometimes like I'm still like shocked when things come up like that. Like when when the reading validates, you know what I've been saying. Let's pull an outcome card. Oh Pisces, remember what I said in the beginning. As much fear as there is about letting go of the old way of being, you can pretty much rest assured that whatever is waiting for you is going to fill your life with so much happiness, with so much pleasure, that this old way of being will seem stupid in hindsight. It'll be like, I can't even believe that that was so important to me once. I can't even believe that, you know, this was what I made my life about once. Not in a bad way, right? We all have phases of life. Some things were important to you when they were important to you. You needed certain things when you needed them. But now there's like more. There's more. Pisces, outcome for the month, six of wands. So I feel like this is a lot of fun with your friends. I think that this is uh, in the month of August going to be uh, uh, some career successes. This looks like a good money month for Pisces. This looks like a good month for like getting recognition for, for like what you've done for your accomplishments. Sort of getting to ride out the rest of August, Pisces, on a little bit of a high in terms of what you've been doing in life and feeling really good about what you've been doing. Feeling really good about like what you've accomplished. Like in a, in a very concrete material way, I think. Feeling very good. Feeling very validated. But again, the Six of Wands feels like superficial. So we're celebrating certain things in life. But then there also feels to me like... Like because these two cards are right next to each other, right? 
The card of meaning of purpose in reverse next to the card of like victory and like outward success. So there might be that dichotomy felt this month, Pisces, of, of things going well on the outside, but maybe like still feels like something's lacking, still feels like something's missing. And you know what it is. All right, Pisces, we're going to wrap up this reading with one uh, oracle card, just for last bit of advice from spirit, from your highest self, from your spirit guides, whatever it is that you believe is guiding you in your life. But very positive, Pisces, you just... All right, I'm going to shut up because <laughs> the cards are, have spoken. You have the card of thinking. Now, Pisces, what this is, is, is not overthinking. This is using the intellect in a way that is productive. This is reminding yourself in an intellect, like there's almost a feeling here of, of intellectually being able to tap into deeper things, right? Intellectually knowing what is bothering you and not being led by emotions, but being led by thought, by what you know is right, by what you know you need. Like, you know, you've been thinking about it for a long time, Pisces. And now it's sort of time to act on things that you know in your head are right for you and act on things that you know are good for you. Act on the things that you know you need. You know what will bring you happiness. You know what will bring you sustenance. And it's a little uncharacteristic, but Pisces, you have to like... Just let your heart, uh, let your head win out a little bit this month. Let your intellect guide the way. Because as much as our emotions are, are, you know, really important and clue us into a lot of things, they also change so much that they're not always the most reliable. So use your emotions to clue you into what changes need to be made and then act on it intellectually right once you get that little bit of information now you can tell yourself like what do i have to do well, how do i move forward what needs to be done all right pisces that's that's going to be it um i just wanted to point out i have this little sign because um it's been really disturbing what i've been hearing in the news and in politics lately about uh immigrants specifically specifically with using words like illegals and i just want us to be really conscious of the way we think and be conscious of the way we talk about other humans as you saw last weekend we had that horrible shooting in texas where somebody was trying to stop the invasion of mexican people and i just want us to be conscious of you know how we treat others and how we use our words and what the stories that our words tell about what we think, right? And how we interact with the world. So I don't need to tell you guys to just lead with love, right? Debate and all that. Like one of the things I learned from my Pisces friends is the way that like people can fight and disagree and still like remember that they have love for each other, right? That's all. Pisces, you're the bestest. I love you guys so much. You have a great month, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.